Now we're going to be talking about seasonal influenza and or what is also called the flu. Highly contagious acute viral respiratory infection that can occur in adults of all ages. And epidemics are common and can lead to complications of pneumonia or death, especially in our elderly patients or debilitated or immunocompromised patients. Influenza may be caused by one of several viral virus families referred to as A, B, and C. The patient with uh, the flu often has a severe headache, muscle aches, fever, chills, fatigue, and weakness. Adults are contagious from 24 hours before the symptoms and up to five days after they begin. Patients who are immunocompromised may be contagious for several weeks. Sore throat, cough, watery nasal discharge generally follow the initial symptoms for a week or longer. And the patient may feel fatigued for uh, one to two weeks after the acute episode has resolved. And under health promotion and maintenance, vaccinations for the, pre pre for the prevention of influenza are widely available. The vaccine is changed every year on the basis of the specific viral strains that are most likely to pose a problem do, during that influenza season, which is the late fall and then the winter. Usually the vaccine contains three antigens and it can be taken IM um, or as a live attenuated influenza vaccine by the intranasal spray. An attenuated is a live virus that has been altered to reduce its ability to cause an infection. But we don't give live viruses um, to pregnant women. We give the um, IM injection, which is the, it is not live virus. Um, it is recommended, um, People are recommended to have these va the vaccine yearly, include those older than 50, people with chronic illness or immune compromised, those living in institutions, uh, people living with or caring for adults with health problems that may put them at risk for severe complications of influenza. Um, uh, teach the patient who is sick to reduce the risk for spreading the flu by washing their hands. Um, especially after nose blowing, sneezing, coughing, rubbing their eyes or touching their face. Um, make sure that the technique that's recommended by the CDC for controlling flu uh, spread is to sneeze or cough into the upper sleeve rather than into the hand. Um, remember that viral infections don't respond to traditional antibiotic therapy so antiviral agents may be effective for prevention and treatment of some types of influenza there's simitrol and flumidin have been effective in the prevention and treatment of influenza a although strands of resistant organisms are increasing with these these two medications the other two medications um, ribovirin has been used for severe influenza B and two drugs that may shorten the duration of influenza A and B are relenza and Tamiflu one is an oral inhalant the relenza and the Tamiflu is an oral tablet um, these drugs basically prevent viral spread in the respiratory tract by inhibiting that viral enzyme that allows the virus to penetrate the respiratory cells. And to be effective, they have to be taken within 24 to 48 hours after the onset of clinical signs and symptoms. It's important to advise the patient to stay in bed for several days, increase fluid intake, saline gargles are important, um, which may um, ease their throat pain. Antihistamines may reduce the rhinorrhea and other um, support measures are the same as those for um, acute rhinitis.